Or should I say aloha? I am currently in Maui right now. Um, this is my first like travel vlog that I've ever done. I'm really excited. Um, we've been up since 4 a.m. getting on a really early flight. It took us about six hours to fly here. So we have been running on, I think, three hours of sleep. Um, but yeah, just settled into our condo. And I think we're just going to go have a little improvisational fun. We're not really sure what to do yet. Probably just go to go to the beach, get some food, and then tonight we have a luau to go to, and tomorrow is the wedding of one of my really close friends from college. So yeah, all in all, a really fun five days here, and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. This is the gorgeous view from our balcony. Oh my goodness. It's like paradise here. It is 6.30 a.m. right now and we're getting ready to board our diving boat which also has wheels and yeah soon we're gonna be driving out into the water and beginning our scuba diving day. Alright this is our stop. This is gonna be the Molokoni dive. There's supposedly like a crater or something here that has some good stuff. I like how blue this water is. So scary. <laughs> We're gonna get um, some local food from this highly reviewed shrimp truck that is in the most beautiful location. A shrimp truck in paradise, pretty much. There's the ocean right there, and it's beautiful mountains behind. And the most delicious shrimp ever, apparently. I'm so excited to try this. This looks amazing. This is the firecracker shrimp. And it's served with the side of rice and macaroni salad. And over here we have steak with buttermilk gravy. Oh my gosh, scrumptious. Same sides. Very affordable, delicious, and unhealthy lunch. Oh well, we're on vacation. All right, it is about 4 p.m. right now and we are on our way to the wedding, which is the whole purpose of the trip. Um, yeah, I had a really long day. We woke up at 5.30 a.m. to go diving and then came home, grabbed a quick lunch, and just collapsed. And we fell asleep for like, what, an hour and a half? And um, 
yeah, we're able to fall asleep instantly because that's how tired we were. So after the power nap, we are ready to go. Cannot wait to celebrate one of my best friends weddings and yeah it's gonna be a beautiful ceremony okay we're walking to the wedding now um the ceremony is gonna be outside and it's gorgeous so i can't wait to show you guys oh my gosh look at the background this is so picturesque hi look at this this is so pretty hello congrats oh my god i don't want to ruin your flower Ooh, this is a handsome groom Say hello. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's like prom. It is like prom. <laughs> but a really fancy, expensive like a... version of prom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at this. Open bar. I'm a new Crab cakes? Oh my god, I've never seen these before. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my second crab cake. <laughs> First course is this beautiful, beautiful salad. <laughs> this entree is dual. They have salmon and steak. Wow, amazing. This wedding is so awesome. <laughs> Well, it's more like 11 a.m. but uh, yeah last night's wedding was super fun but it was a really long exhausting day so I think today we're just gonna take it easy explore the island a little bit and just kind of maybe play things by ear and see where the day takes us but first we're gonna get some lunch because I am starving and here is the view from the other side of our rental unit oh my gosh in the gorgeous Lahaina and um, heading to lunch and behind me is the ocean. Look at that. The streets here are super cute. A lot of tourists. Really quaint little place. Um, a lot of shops and galleries too so can't wait to explore. We're gonna hit up Lahaina Luna Cafe. The food has arrived, it looks amazing. This is the barbecue Korean beef plate. And this one is the mau or mahi mahi plate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> looks like someone is eating the yellow snow. <laughs> How's it taste? Delicious. <laughs> Very tropical and tangy. Amazing oil painter, Klavensky. Whoa, super cool. Richard Johnson painting dreamy muses in. Pastel color palettes. I like this one. It reminds me of like almost, almost those old classical paintings. So funny thing I noticed here, if you look closely at the textures, um, it's actually not completely original. It's actually a really high quality canvas print that's been embellished with this here and this here. See, so just embellished with some slight abstract paint strokes, but 
the bulk of the piece, if you look at how the textures reflect, see on the flowers there? There should be texture, but there isn't. But then randomly you have texture here, which means it's been embellished. Now we're taking a break from the heat to go shop for some souvenirs for our friends and family. It's a cute little store here. Is legit. Look at this. It's a mosquito on a motorcycle. Mosquito cycle. Whoa, Vladimir Kush. This stuff is so interesting. Oh my gosh. Caterpillar bridge. We got faces in the flowers. A guy rowing a boat down the tree trunk. <laughs> oh. A spider with a clock for its body, faces on the pineapple. <laughs> Look at all the little things you can find. These are human beings as leaves. <laughs> a sheep made of seashells or snake or snail shells. The tree is a lady. The hill is a giant turd. <laughs> it's not a turd, it's a shell. <laughs> You're terrible. So interesting. <gasps> the sheep from the painting in sculpture form. So cool. So this is a Vladimir Kush solo exhibition, it seems like. Oh, wow, his body of work is just indescribable. I mean, this guy is a genius and an artist and a true master of his craft. Look at this. This is so interesting. The same, the same mosquito from the motorcycle that we saw. So he's a painter and a sculptor, or a metal worker, apparently. The pineapple face is real too. What? Life. Morning guys! Today is our second to last day in Maui and we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna go zip lining in a bit and right now we're just having some lunch real quick. Okay, here is our lunch for today. I went back to the shrimp truck because I'm obsessed. Just try something different. Still got a side of the beef because it's too good to pass up. And then we went to another place called White Kapu and got this uh, Kalua pork, you said? Or Lao? Lao, Por Lao, Lao. pork. It's like cooked inside a taro leaf. Super yum. And of course, cannot get sick of this view. Yeah. This is a guava we picked from <laughs> a bush nearby. <laughs> totally legit. Good job, babe! Right now,
now we're just taking a little drive around the north side of the island. It's gonna rain according to the weather forecast, so we're just trying to make the most of all the sightseeing before it starts raining. But um, the stormy sky actually looks pretty cool, so I'm gonna show you guys. There's my little daredevil of a boyfriend. Gonna go for a quick hike. There's supposedly a blowhole here. We also stopped and bought some coconut candy. <laughs> look at all of these wild, look at all of these wild succulents. <laughs> it's like hills of them. Wow, look at this. We try so hard to just keep one alive and Mother Nature is doing such a good job. She's kept this whole cliff side of succulents alive. Don't die. Look at that pastel sky. Can never get tired of this view. I'm definitely gonna miss this view. Oh, and my favorite broccoli floret tree. <laughs> Beautiful Hawaii. Hi guys, so it is currently our last day in Maui. We're gonna leave tomorrow bright and early in the morning. So today is our last full day to explore. Um, I think our plans for today is to visit the aquarium, which is really close to where we're staying, and also trying to explore the east side of the island. So, so far we've only done stuff on the west side. The east side is a really long drive. It's about an hour just to get to the eastern point, but I think we're going to try to do it and just try to soak up as much Maui as we can before we leave. Um, we're both feeling really bloated and kind of like food coma from uh, all the heavy Hawaiian food we've been eating, which has been delicious, but yeah, super greasy, super high carb. So today we might try to take it easy, try to eat something lighter, um, try to get back onto our California schedule, our California habits before we go home. But yeah, overall, it's been such a great trip. I am definitely coming back and I was so honored and so excited to be part of my friend's wedding. Um, so yeah, it's been an awesome trip and I have great memories and I cannot wait to edit this vlog and show you guys. So let us get today started. This spider looks really cool. Oh, it's in focus now. Look at it. And it's got a little baby. The baby has the same markings as the mama spider. It's so cool. Its um, body has this like almost gold iridescent accent on it. Ooh. Okay, so the line for the aquarium was super long. I think because it's a cloudy, rainy day, everyone has the same idea to go to the aquarium today. So um, instead of doing that first, we're just gonna go drive to the west, sorry, the east side of the island first, grab lunch there, see if we can improvise, find some cool stuff to see along the way, and then um, come back to the aquarium maybe at a less crowded time, maybe around 3 p.m. So yeah. That's our new plans for today. So much for eating light. <laughs> for appetizer, we got this seafood chowder and coconut shrimp. Um, it looks super delicious. So for my entree, I got this grilled ono. Ono is a type of fish. Grilled ono salad with a vinaigrette. See, it's actually healthy. <laughs> eating light for one meal. And then this guy over here got two giant fish tacos the size of like an infant's head. We couldn't decide so we got two pies. The first one is a strawberry mango um, fruit pie with a nice crummy crust and this one is a chocolate cream pie. So delicious! So much for eating light today. So during our drive, we have stumbled upon the botanical gardens. It is super beautiful. I'm so glad we drove towards the east side of the island. And um, yeah, it's 
supposedly 2,500 different plant species. There are lots of beautiful tropical leafy plants and flowers. Um, I'm definitely going to be photographing a lot of these and using them as reference for future paintings and probably make them available to my patrons as well. So yeah, lots of beauty and inspiration in this area. Whoa, look at this chameleon inside the botanical gardens. He is so cool, has so much personality. Okay, we're going back to the aquarium now that it's less busy. It's about 3.10 p.m. This is gonna be our last um, sightseeing spot of the day before dinner and we pack and get ready to leave. Now we're going to my favorite part of the exhibit. You guessed it, jellyfish. <gasps> Look. one of the coolest features of most aquariums and that's like a tunnel where you can see things swim overhead. Check it out. I'm right under him. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> so cool. Oh, yeah. He looks almost friendly. Hello, friend. Hello. Nice to see you again. Oh, do you see how close it is to you? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you can you can pretty much touch it. <laughs> He's like, hello, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. I think he likes the attention. Yeah, he's social. Yeah. This is the tide pool where you're allowed to touch the things. Ooh, the starfish is really bumpy. At this market where everything is priced so well, they have these like to-go dinners 
pre-made. 